Needing a permanent campus to obtain full accreditation, Central Florida Bible College was facing a significant challenge, but a solution quickly presented itself. Clifford and Eileen Chapman were a ranching family here in the Kissimmee, Osceola County area. He and his family donated this 40-acre property. And of course, at the time, it was a cow pasture, you know. And so during that time, um, they were getting ready to go to Mr. Chapman and say, we appreciate the gift. Is it okay if we sell it so we can relocate and maybe find another piece of property where there are utilities, where there are roads? And I believe it was in that same week, it was announced in Kissimmee that um, Heritage Park would be developed across the street. Unexpectedly, the city of Kissimmee announced the development of a sports complex on land neighboring the Chapman's property providing roads and utilities that enabled the campus to become a reality. The Chapman Center was open in the fall of 1985, and we had two apartment buildings, Foundation Hall and Trulock Hall. Only one was ready for occupancy when we moved to the campus here, and so for the first several months, several of us and several uh, Christian families in the community actually housed students. When the school occupied the current campus in Kissimmee, it also changed its name to Florida Christian College, which was the preferred name, I am told, at the very beginning of the institution to reflect its statewide in involvement and vision. The school grew in enrollment and facilities, adding a library, several other residence halls, and a student union building with a swimming pool but Florida Christian College was still to face its greatest challenge yet. When we moved onto this campus in 1985, we had tremendous hopes, dreams, commitment to paying off the campus as soon as possible. We had always lived debt-free. That was a core value. We were always able to raise uh, money, but the money would typically go towards paying the annual interest and we never were able to make significant headway off, off of the uh, um, core mortgage. Increasingly, the consequences of a general economic downturn impacted the operation of Florida Christian College and led to the need to refinance long-term indebtedness. And the school uh, eventually found that lenders were reluctant to refinance that indebtedness. I got a phone call um, from the president of Florida Christian College, and I was the chairman of the trustees at the time, and said, Jim, we got some bad news. The regional accreditation is no longer going to look favorably at Florida Christian College. Without accreditation, Florida Christian College would soon lose its students and close its doors. But while the sun seemed to be setting on the college, the board had one hope that might keep the dream alive. I think what might have just been a seed of a hope became something that was a little bit more realistic and maybe even a possibility. 